Hey everybody, The Real Deal here. I've got the LEGO Dimensions Fun Pack from The Wizard of Oz, which lets you play as the Wicked Witch and ride around on a winged monkey. So that should be pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to open this up and put it together and then use it in the game to run around and cause a bunch of destruction and bring Wicked Witch where she doesn't belong to like Doctor Who and stuff like that. So you can see you can build a winged monkey, then a, a battle monkey or a commander monkey, who actually looks pretty cool because um, he's got a horn there, but we are going to go ahead and just build the winged monkey uh, and of course the wicked witch and then maybe eventually I'll go ahead and I'll do a video of uh, the other, building the other two, but for now we'll go ahead and build the winged monkey. So, oh, there's more Lego pieces and parts in there and everything, so cool. Now, I have the winged monkey instructions pulled up on my phone because one of the lame things uh, as awesome as LEGO Dimensions is, it is lame. They don't give you the vehicle, and I guess Winged Monkey is considered a vehicle. Uh, they don't give you the vehicle instructions in the uh, in the little instruction booklet here. It just says, hey, put uh, put the Wicked Witch on there and start the game, and then we'll tell you how to build the Winged Monkey. Well, so I have it up on my phone so we can build it here. So building the Wicked Witch should be easy enough, and then the Winged Monkey looks like there's a... a quite a few different parts here. The uh, instructions are 19 steps, so it might take a little while here, but we're gonna do our best to put it together as quickly as possible. Or I'm gonna do my best. I don't know what I'm saying we for. Um, now what the heck is in here? Oh, this is probably her cape, right? Let's see. And I'm not worried about ripping all this stuff up because I wanna open the figures up and play the game. So, where's the fun in keeping it in the box? Okay, yeah, this is the Wicked Witch's cape, which we'll put on her. Okay. That's nice. They put it in a little box to keep it safe and so it doesn't get ruined. So, okay. So, the Wicked Witch. Here's her little base. Oh, that's cool. It's got the little, uh, I don't know if the camera is picking that up. Little, like, emerald uh, orb there. So, that's cool. All right. So, Wicked Witch. Let's put you together. All right. And these are all the little pieces for the... Uh, the winged monkey there, which we'll get to. Okay, so Wicked Witch has her legs and her torso, right, and her head. Oh, wait a minute, we gotta put the cape on her before we do that. The cape we usually do like this. Okay, we put one and one. So it kind of has a cool, like, folded, flowing look to it. And then we'll put the little Wicked Witch's head on there. She have two expressions? Nope, sometimes they have two facial expressions, but this one she's just got her evil grin. Um, and then we put on her hat. I didn't even look at the instructions, but I imagine this is how it goes. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, no, that's it. Keep. And then the only other piece is her broom, which we can put in her hand. So, how cool is that we've got the Lego Wicked Witch of the West who can ride around and cause a bunch of destruction in the Lego Dimensions game, which is a very fun game that I definitely recommend. But there you go, Lego Wicked Witch. Oh, you know what? I didn't put her on the base. Let's throw her on there real quick. So there we go. And that's really, really a cool thing about Lego Dimensions is that they're just regular Lego figures. Um, so if you don't feel like playing the game, uh, or you don't have a video game system or whatever it is, you can still collect the figures and still use them as regular Lego figures. But I definitely recommend the game. It's a blast to play. Um, so, and I really like the Lego games in general anyway. But I love the, uh, the mashup of the different franchises in LEGO Dimensions. It's really, really fun. So there you go. So there's Wicked Witch. All right. So now moving on, we are going to go ahead and build the Winged Monkey here. So that is 19 steps, uh, according to the instructions on my phone. But step one is to put this on here. So step one is usually a pretty easy step. So one step done already. Not so bad. We've got the base. Not terribly exciting, but done. Now, it looks like we start building this guy from the base. It looks like we take uh, one of these clear pieces and put it here. Is that on there? No, there it goes. All right. And then we take, uh, where is it? One of these 
clear, clear ones with a little claw on it. And is it facing the right way? Yep, it sure is. And it looks like we put that on this over here. All right. So I don't know how that becomes a winged monkey, but I guess we're going to find out at some point. Now we take, uh, it looks like we're leaving that one spot blank. Okay, well, so we're gonna take one of these looking things. I don't know what the names any of these pieces are. I mean, I'm sure they, they must have names. I'm sure if, you know, you're a huge Lego builder, I'm sure you know what the different names of these pieces are, but I don't know what they are. So I'm just calling them this thing and that thing and this other thing and <laughs> so. All right, now we take this little round piece um, which looks like it's clear. Oh, sorry. And then that goes right on top there. So there you go. So that was step three. All right. So that was an easy enough step. Uh, now step four, we're still working with the base. Step four is a really easy one. We're going to take this thing here and we're going to put it right on top over here. Okay. So far, so good. Not so bad so far, winged monkey. Okay, so, and then step five says, okay, I see what we're going to do. Step five says to take uh, the other one of these, this weird thing with the kind of, I don't know what this is, this piece sticking out here, uh, and then uh, you're going to take one of these and put it underneath, all right. So you build that there first, and then it says to take it and put it on this side here. Right? And there you go. So that's easy enough. So that's step five. Now step six, moving right along here, says to take uh, this piece and connect these two here. So it does that, and then also in step six, we're gonna take this blue uh, little round piece and put that on top there. So, easy enough, not getting too, too complicated yet. I, get, I guess those are his legs, and those are his little feet claw things. I guess that's what we're building, so okay. Now step seven has a few different parts to it. So step seven is one of those where you build something and then connect it to this. So, we're gonna put this down for a minute now we're going to take this and this almost looks like a traffic light um, and we're going to just connect them. So boom, done. It really does look like a traffic light, um, but obviously I don't think that's what we're building. Um, I think we're actually building his little face here. So we are going to go ahead and on either side of this, we're going to put uh, one of these little blue things. So we're going to put a blue thing here. And we're going to put a blue thing here. I guess these are meant to be his ears. All right. And then we're going to take on top of that, we're going to put this little, I guess this is his hat, right? Okay. And then what else do we do? Uh, we take this uh, kind of triangular piece and we stick that like so just to kind of make his face and his nose, I suppose, is what that's supposed to be. And then underneath that, we take uh, one of these pieces and put it right on there. Any day, any day now. There you go. So that, as they say, is that. So that's our winged monkey face, it looks like, anyway. So, uh, and then I think, yeah, we're going to go ahead and attach that to this. So there you go. There's our winged monkey face there. So he doesn't have any wings yet or any arms or anything, but I, I suppose we're getting there. Uh, so now we're on step eight. So we are going to take uh, this claw looking thing. It looks like now we're going to put his little horn together. So, oh, the little horn... Okay, first, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, we take the horn, and this just kind of snaps together like that. He's got a horn, and then that snaps into the little claw here, and this, I believe, goes on his back. That's what it looks like to me. 
and that's what seems to make the most sense. Okay, that snapped in. I don't know if you heard that, but you heard the definite snap there. And then this goes uh, in the back, like so. so. There you go. All right, so now he's got his horn on his back there. Now, okay, so now we are going to build, it looks like, one of his wings. So it looks like we're going to put aside this for now, since we got that all done. And then we're going to start with uh, this piece here. And we're going to put a gray piece on top of that. Easy enough. That's step nine. Step nine done. We're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Okay, easy enough. And it didn't snap in. There you go. Okay. Step ten. What do we got? Okay, step ten says take this. And take this. And then... Snap them together and put that. Wait a minute. Why am I having trouble? There we go. And then that snaps into this, like so. Come on, Lego. There we go. All right. So now we've got something that looks like that. Okay. Now, step 11 uh, says take the wing. And it looks like it says to take it and hold it like this and put it into the blue piece there. Okay, I believe that's right. And then it says to take this this way and put it here, I think. That looks cool. Yeah, that's one of his wings and an arm. Okay, well, he fell off, but that's okay. We're gonna put that right back, okay. Uh, there he is. Get back on there. Okay. Did I ruin the horn? No. Okay. So that's cool. So he's got a one wing there. And I imagine we're going to do the same thing. And he's got his little arm and hand there. So it looks like we're going to do the same thing on the other side, just in reverse. So let's take a look at that real quick. We're going to take uh, this blue thing here. And then we are going to take this gray piece and throw it on here like we did before. All right. Okay, so now uh, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to take one of these. You can see that looking piece there. We're going to put that there. Like we did before. And then that is going to snap onto this, like so, to make his arm. And then we are going to take the other wing and we're going to put it like so. All right, so that's step 15, is throwing the wing on here. All right. And then it goes like, oops, like so, right? Yeah, like that, rather. Okay. And that kind of snaps right on there. Very cool. So he's got two wings and two arms there. So now that was step 16. Oh, it was 17 steps. I was saying it's 19 steps. It's only 17 because we're done. Because step 17 just says take the wings out. Like fan them out a little bit. Oh, no, it doesn't say break his arm off. <laughs> I was trying to move the, the wing and that popped right off. Come on, go on. All right. Well, you get the idea anyway. Um, you know, you can move the wings carefully. All right, we're gonna leave well enough alone because his arm keeps popping off there, but you get the idea. You can you can move the wings, which is pretty cool. There we go, I got one of them moved a little bit, so they're kinda out a little bit. And you can move them around on, on here a little bit too, which is pretty cool. Um, really neat looking winged monkey. I can't wait to take this for a spin in the game. Uh, thanks for watching me build this. I hope it was helpful. I hope you were able to use this to kinda build one yourself. Um, if you've got this set and you're wondering how to build this thing. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. Here's the Wicked Witch. We'll show her again. Uh, this is a really, really neat set. Uh, really cool game. A lot of fun to put together and play. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. Check out my other unboxing videos, including more LEGO Dimension stuff. And like, and subscribe, and share. And thanks again for watching. Keep on collecting.